No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip The stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip Big iron on his hip All right, all right. So we kind of saw what the subterranean, suburban areas over there or downtown are like, but I didn't show you guys anything as far as like the art district, right? That's where like a lot of the magic happens, right here at the art district. So let's go check this out. Unfortunately, it's a little bit late at night, but I want to know like what are people doing out here? I can hear live bands in the distance. It sounds like things are popping around here. Obviously there's food cooking. But I want to see what the locals are doing in this area, especially around 10, 30, 11 o'clock when it starts really picking up. So let's see what's going on over here. Not my gig. Boo, boo, boo. Hey, what up, man? Hey, just playing the high five game. You want to film this shit? The what? High five game. All right, do it. All right. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's how it works. People walk by, they give me high fives, and they don't. If they don't, they Thank don't give you. me high fives, and they just walk by. That's kind of rude. Doesn't matter. No, yeah, it's just rude. Yes. Nine out of ten, they always do it. It's all love, though, but, right? Yeah, I mean, it's love Wait, for me, but sometimes the sometimes they don't. Oh, we got a group. fucking crew. Yeah. Here we go. Stop right here. We get square. Oh, my God. A little love? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's okay. It's not a trick. High five. High five. Oh, oh, I was like, no, stop it now. Oh, okay. So, it's I know. Interesting, huh? Yeah, it is a little bit. Uh, you see what people are really made of if they're out here yeah, with all love in their heart, really. or if they're, yeah, yeah. exactly. It may be, it may be yeah. kind of like the cops may want to do this as like their other DUI test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, will you give me a it's, high five? <laughs> and, and these people are just trying to make it to their car. Yeah, yeah. they're just like, like changing the way you look at this stuff. guy definitely give me a high five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. smiles yeah. all day. I love it. Right away. Chill. Yep. Chill, man. Everything Vegas? Everything Vegas. You gotta check out everything Vegas. If you're not, then you're. That's the way to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. High five, y'all. Hey, y'all have a good night, yeah? yeah you too, bro. Take care. The high five game. I love that. Now that is artwork right there. That's a beautiful, beautiful animal for sure. <laughs> What's your pet name there? Celine. Celine? Celine? Celine look Celine's like, I'm over it, bro. I'm, I'm ready to. She's like, you better have treats or that's it. Right. <laughs> she ain't doing nothing for free. That's right. <laughs> Some like secret art gallery here. Let's see what's going on in there. Thank you. Wow.
people even like tipsy rolls? I've never been a big tipsy roll person. This is a really cool art gallery, so kind of like a hidden gem over here in the downtown in area. Yeah, well, this is my gallery. Uh, you know, I uh, rent out some wall space to uh, local artists and everything, and I uh, do a lot of my own paintings here. Really? Yeah. Is any of these yours right here? Um, uh, these two are here works in progress and then I've got uh, work along the wall here and uh, prints on the opposite. Is that you uh, over there? No, this is uh, one of my guest artists, uh, Mr. Lee Lanier. Okay. Uh, my work is the uh, still lifes on this wall here. Okay. And this one right here I was really yeah. uh, interested in actually. That's done in a chiaroscuro method, uh, which is a very uh, light and dark. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, this one as well. I mean, that's darn near life. A six to uh, yeah. six to eight thirty. Eight thirty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's usually the busiest. Follow me. Absolutely. Right. Thank you for having. Thank me. you. Absolutely. All right. If you guys are ever downtown in the Las Vegas area near Charleston in Maine, come see Chris. He's an awesome guy, man. This is a cool place to be. It's a Miriam Davies. Yeah. She was like a silent film. Back in she ended up being like the the lover of Hearst. Yeah, because actually I think he built Hearst Castle for her. Really? But he was he was married, but he was he actually had a child with her too. Or she had a child with her. I see, so she was that, that mistress he had to Yes. <laughs> So welcome to the vlog today, everybody. Today we're talking about politics and economics, and uh, no, we're talking about Packers. We're just talking about man, you know what I'm saying? The so best politics, team in economics, the and the Packers, and uh, how they're related. So keep it locked, and we'll, we'll get into it. Hey, I don't mean to film you, but I want to tell you thank you for sharing this with us. You're you got a definite uh, skill you've built up over time for short time. Short time? Really? No one ever says that. Everyone always says the opposite. They're like, no, this took years of hard work to get there. I'm very, I do a lot of practicing, but it's only been drawing for about four years. Really? Yeah. The passion they go with, man. I started uh, drawing the illustrated book I was writing. Okay. You, so you did an illustrated book, is that right? No, I was illustrating a sci-fi novel I was writing just to anchor the worlds in my mind. Okay. You know, they say a picture's worth a thousand words, right. so I, you know, illustrated those weird worlds in my, you know, and decided that they weren't good enough so I said I need to get better okay then I said okay now I need to illustrate the people in my world okay and they need to get better and so I said I just practice 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 not bad at all and so I, I turn out about a drawing a week sometimes two drawings a week how what do you do do you um, sell them here at the gallery or do you sell them online or or do you just Present them just for the people, or mostly present them. I have sold a few commissions. And, uh, they're online, but not many people. Yeah, you know, realism is a very niche market. Okay, it's growing, but it was like it was popular at one time, and then it died away, and now it's starting to pick up. Oh, I see. Uh, L.A., Chicago, New York, um, realism is popular, but Las Vegas, yeah, people like abstract, and they like 
arts and crafts. Probably very poppy colors and things well, no, like that. They, I mean, they'll spend a thousand dollars for a dinner and a night out, but they won't spend two hundred, three hundred dollars for a good piece of art. Kind of says a lot about our culture in general, yeah. right? Exactly. They're disposable, not permanent. Do you mind if I ask what was your name, sir? Tom. Tom. London. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hope you don't mind. I just want, if anyone ever watches my channel, I'd love them to know who's the uh, artist that actually brought this to the people. So definitely appreciate your time. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. Oh my God, what a night it's been. Later, we're gonna have to go back, go back to Fremont and see what Fremont Street's like. We're gonna have to go back to another first Friday, catch it a little bit earlier. So we're gonna have a part two of this. And we might have to go to a couple of these uh, little nightclubs and bars and actually see what they're all about. Um, I love it. For now, I think that's going to be a wrap. So thanks for coming with me, and I think I'll see you guys in the next one.